Imor Prestare. The world is changed. Imor Vodnian. I feel it in the water. Imor Vodahaya. I feel it in the earth. Imistrugaref. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you guys are all doing well and we continue my journey to complete Scorched Earth and Ark Survival Evolved. I've been busy between episodes gathering lots of resources and we've had a little bit of luck. We found that elusive Rex Saddle blueprint which I was kind of worried about because I know it was very difficult to find on the island but we got this one in a red loot drop. We got that as well as a Ascendant rock golem saddle so that's going to be really really handy probably the best loot drop i could have got uh, it was a red loot drop with the yellow ring around the outside so really happy about that now the stats on it aren't as good as the last saddle that we got but nonetheless it's definitely going to be handy especially if we end up going into that final fight with the manticore using the wreck saddle and I was also out in the desert earlier on this week trying to gather some of them deep sea loot crates that can be found out there and we stumbled across a deaf worm. I figured that we would give it a go. My wolf pack is pretty strong now. I've got a couple of melee mutations on them and uh, they are quite a strong pack and well leveled. So I gave it a go and the deaf worm wasn't that much trouble. It was only a level one deaf worm and our wolf pack well it was no bother for our wolf pack now i the desert is quite large and trying to come across these desert loot crates was one of the ways i figured that we might come across some of the better saddles but now that we've got that rex saddle that makes things a lot easier and the death worm is the only way that we can really get black pearls on this map not that we're going to be using much of the tech i would think if and when we manage to beat the Alpha Manticore, I don't think we'll be using any tech in that fight, so maybe not as useful as we thought it would be, but nonetheless, I've uh, managed to take out a Death Worm with our Wolf Pack. So really happy with that, managed to take out that Death Worm as well, so we've got the Death Worm Horn and a few Black Pearls, but more importantly, we've got some of the Essential Saddles. Now I've gone ahead and crafted two of the Ascendant Rock Golem saddles here. I've used up all the metal I was saving up just to be able to do the vaults on the outside of this building, just making storage a little bit easier for all the hide I'm going to need. But today we're going to take Shazella and the other Rock Golem out towards the Wyvern Trench. And my plan is to stick both of these onto turret mode and hopefully we can drag some wyverns out towards them and clear the trench out a bit so we can go and steal some wyvern eggs. So let's head out that way now. Okay, so I've rather stupidly chucked both the rock golems out at once. I forgot that we've got cryo sickness on this map. I'm used to playing on the complete retreat server and we've switched off cryo sickness. So I've gone and chucked both of them out at once forgetting that there's a cooldown between them but never mind I'm gonna set up my wyvern trap now in order to get wyvern milk we need a female wyvern and I'm gonna need to trap one we need to knock it out and that way we can get a bit of wyvern milk it is the only way to imprint wyvern so you do need to be able to do this so the classic way to do that is get several of these behemoth gates together and I know there are simpler traps, but this one's worked for me in the past, so we'll just stick with what we know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, that's what they say, and I'm sure it can be approved upon, but this tends to work. Although that's not straight, so let's just place that again. Fortunately, we can now pick up things in Vanilla Arc, otherwise that would have been a waste of a big gate there. And let's just straighten these up a little bit better. So if we can trap a few female wyverns in this 
little behemoth gate area here and we need to knock them out. That's one of the ways that we can get some wyvern milk. So I'm just going to put these down. I think six should be able to do enough. And there's enough room. There's enough room between the gaps here for my Argent to get out, but the Wyvern, well, that won't be able to get out of these gaps, so we can keep them quite wide apart. I've also got a preserving bin, and I'm going to put a bed down just in case the worst happens. Okay, so let's just shove a couple of foundations down. So I can put a bed and a preserving bin down. That way I've got somewhere to store the wyvern milk. And if all goes wrong, then we've got a respawn point. Hopefully we'll be okay though. And our rock golems will be able to look after us. We also need to be collecting the talons. We're going to need the wyvern talons for the final fight. That's the trophies that we'll need. So I should be able to get plenty of them today. Got a little bit of preserving salt on me as well, just in case. That helps transfer the wyvern milk, because we do have a set time on that. Okay, so I've had a few attempts at this. It's working quite well. I've managed to drag a few wyverns out the trench towards the golem. And uh, they're no match for my rock golems just here. But I've just spotted an alpha wyvern so if we can take the alpha out instead well that's 50 milk and uh, we also get a trophy for that and uh, the crystal wyvern gloves but more importantly it drops all the milk that we're going to need to tame our wyverns so I don't know what level it is I'll just check that it's not too high but if we can drag this one out of the trench that'll be great now all wyverns are, all the alpha wyverns, doesn't matter whether they're male or female, will drop the milk. And uh, they're all fire wyverns as well. You don't get poison or lightning wyverns when it comes to the alphas. So that's a level 70. So I'm pretty sure our rock golem should be able to handle that. So I think the best way is if we just land. And if we can get a shot on. That should aggro it over towards. Okay. Okay, that was a hit, so let's get out of here as quickly as possible, because it won't take long. The wyverns are pretty fast. Well, here it comes. So, like I say, you can't get lightning or poison alphas. It's only the fire ones that we can get. And I'll just drag it over here. And our rock golems are both on turret mode, so we'll let them fight it out. I'll just get out of the way. And that'll be all the milk that we need then. If I can just clear that trench out a little bit more. And if I can get a couple of reasonable eggs just to get us started. Because once we have a wyvern, it's going to be much easier to grab the eggs. The RG is just not fast enough, but if I've got a wyvern and uh, I can get out of that trench a lot faster and then drag any of the wyverns out towards my golems. So today's plan is just to get maybe one or two reasonable level wyverns if we can. We'll just have to see what eggs are down there. And it's looking a little bit bloody. Ah, there we go. There you have it. So I think all of the milk has actually just gone into my inventory. And we've also got the trophy and the uh, gauntlet skin. So there you go. We've got all of the wyvern milk there. And looks like we've got plenty of levels as well for taking out that alpha. So that's great. I'm just going to pile on a load of melee damage here. And this... Rock Golem combination in turret mode is working really well. Okay, well, there's another egg just down here. 
managed to grab a few eggs, nothing of a high level. Best one I've got so far is a, a lightning egg, a level 50. Got another one here. Let's just see what we got. I don't think, I think it's safe to get it out. The second we grab this, we'll, we will aggro anything in the area. Oh, level 10, that's no good. Just end up eating that egg. But use the eggs to switch inventory. If I pull it from my inventory, oh, we've got a lightning on us. This could be bad actually because Devil's actually on half health. And them lightning zaps, oh, they do a lot of damage. Should have made sure I was fully healed before I did this. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't like you stealing the eggs. Okay, we made it. This combination of uh, the rock golems on turret mode is working really well though. And no match. And I'm getting quite a few talons together. Okay, so I'm going to use a new strategy rather than taking the wyverns all the way over to that gate. Now that we've got the milk that we need, I'm going to just bring Shizella over, stick her on turret mode and that way I haven't got as far to run when we aggro these wyverns. So basically, just clearing out this area, we just transfer an egg from my inventory into the Argent's inventory, that resets the aggro. That should annoy whatever's in the area. Hopefully they're chasing us. It's just a bit safer to have my rock golem a little bit closer. Is anything coming after us? Let's try again. Now here we go, here we go. So this method is working pretty well. So once I've got a wyvern, I'm going to be more comfortable going into this trench to grab more eggs. But Devil is really slow. So the second that we've got a wyvern on our tail, yeah, we're kind of... We are risking things here. Looks like I've got another poison wyvern over there. Let's just do this again. Let's just put this over here. Let's see if we can drag that one out. Doesn't look like it's particularly bothered, it's just stuck down there. Just keep an eye. Yeah, unfortunately, when they do end up on your tail, they really can outrun my Argent. We haven't got classic flyers on, so this is the best that I have. At least when we've got a couple of eggs in our inventory, we don't have to go and actually grab an egg. We just switch it from inventory to inventory. That way it resets the aggro. Ah, there we go. We've got another lightning wyvern on us. Ooh. God, they really do hit hard. That's why I thought it was safer just to bring one of the rock golems out here. That immediately takes off the aggro. As soon as I fly near the rock golem they tend to go for that and the rock golem's on turret mode so this is working out pretty well. And it saves on having to make a load of ammunition and turrets. So this is a really good method. And I'm getting plenty of talons back as well. Need to remember to collect as many of them as possible. I'm gonna need them for the final fight. So if I can just grab 
one or two reasonable level eggs. We'll go back, we'll use the milk that we have got. And uh, once we've got a half decent wyvern, going into this trench is not going to be as hard. I can just grab a whole load of wyverns, aggro them and bring them out towards my rock golems. Make it a lot easier. There we go. It's a 115, uh, so it's quite high that one. Okay. Well, there's a couple of eggs down here. Hopefully, we're now all clear. I'll try and grab one. I say I really, I really do need to be careful. Devil really won't take that much. Already on half health, but there we go. There was that poison egg there. I think we are all clear. Managed to clear out as many as I could. Let's just quickly get in and out. Oh, a 120. That's not too bad. In fact, that'll do brilliant, actually. I think I might just quit while I'm ahead. Go back to base. I've got a level 50... Lightning egg, a 120, so if we get these wyverns tamed up, I'll feel a lot more comfortable coming in the trench with a wyvern and clearing it out with the rock golem turret method. So let's head back to base. Yeah, pretty happy with that. So in order to incubate the wyverns, we need extreme heat. So I've just set up a load of standing torches. Hopefully that'll be hot enough in order to hatch our egg. I'll just put one more down. I think that should do it. And like I say, we've got a level 50, a level 120. Let's do our poison egg. There you go, that's incubating now. So we'll do a couple of wyverns and then coming back to that trench is going to be a lot easier on the back of a wyvern. I'll feel a lot more comfortable aggroing a, a whole bunch of them towards the rock golems on the back of a wyvern. But uh, on the back of devil, well, that's really kind of risky. And uh, I was just doing it sort of one at a time and uh, really carefully. So... Hopefully we'll get this one all fully imprinted. See what we get. There we go. Okay. All right, let's just print. And of course, we need all of that wyvern milk in order to imprint the wyverns. It's the only food that they'll eat. Oh, no, don't go in the fire. Just get this over here a bit. But because it's the only food that they eat as an infant, in order to fully imprint these guys, you do need the wyvern milk. And of course, we haven't got the nanny mod, so the only way around it is the real way. Okay, so we've managed to tame and fully imprint a couple of wyverns. And using these are going to be much easier to grab more eggs in the future. And using that rock golem method, as you saw there in top turret mode, in combination with a wyvern so we can get out of the trench a lot quicker, is going to be essential to grabbing more eggs. And I'm going to go with the naming patron rights tier. So Sabo, you're the electric wyvern mate. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. And as soon as I get another better level electric wyvern egg, I'll, uh, I'll name you after that one because that was only a level 50. And Sarah Bella, we've got as our poison wyvern. Again, thank you very much, guys, for the support on Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. It has helped no end. And... Uh, these guys are going to be essential for helping me get more eggs in the future. And that rock golem method in combination with a wyvern, I'm going to be able to clear out them trenches a lot quicker. I'll just show you over here as well for killing the alpha wyvern. We got the wall mount trophy and I've also got the crystal wyvern gauntlets. I'll just get out here. You can sort of see 
that's what we get for killing the alpha wyvern and that made it a lot easier for getting the milk this time around but uh, next time we might have to drag a couple of females into my trap there but that's all the time I have for that episode of Complete Scorched Earth. I think next time around we'll be able to tackle a couple more of the caves and we're making progress towards beating this game. I'm still undecided as whether we're going to be taking Wyverns or Rexes into that final fight, but we'll just have to see what comes along between now and then. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.